Hello there. DreamWorks How to Train Your Dragon The Hidden World is directed by Dean DeBloy, with the previous cast returning as well, including Gerard Butler as Stoic the Vast in flashback scenes. And unlike most franchises, which aim to go on and on and on and on, The Hidden World appears to actually be a conclusion. A lot of the time, you don't know of a third installment in the franchise will be either the best, or the worst, or just good in its own right. The Hidden World? Well, even though I can't say that it's the best, that's only because the previous ones were just so damn great. I guess that The Hidden World is at least equal to How to Train Your Dragon 2. So yeah, pretty much high praise. Though this is DreamWorks, and their previous experience with third installments is basically favourable. I mean, yeah, Shrek the Third wasn't all that great, but Madagascar 3 was the best out of those movies, and Kung Fu Panda 3 was only ever of so slightly lower quality than those movies. And How to Train Your Dragon 3 is the same. Anyway, our story has the Vikings of Berk roaming the seas, freeing captive dragons from our villain, Gremel, who is basically Drago Bloodfist, but with a bit more personality, but not enough to make him much more than serviceable. Unfortunately, Hiccup, by freeing these dragons and taking them back to Berk, has overrun the village with dragons and has turned the village into a target for dragon hunters. Until he remembers his father, Stoic the Vast, telling him about this hidden dragon utopia at the edge of the world. And Hiccup decides that it's best to take all of the people and their dragons to find this hidden world. See what I did there? The first film tackled themes of ignorance and prejudice, as well as the second film, which also tackled themes of animal rights. Think about it, in this movie series that the dragons are captured in nets and put in cages, like animals, and are either trained by our animal-loving vikings or brutalized by the villains. And in this third installment, the animal rights themes are front and center. Though I wonder how these dragon-loving vikings got their fireproof dragon scale armor if they don't hurt their dragons. Is there something you're not telling us, Hiccup? Meh, those kinds of implications aren't as disturbing as if you were to apply the same type of thinking towards Pokemon. Your animation is gorgeous. What else is new? Does anyone really expect these movies not to be well animated? Though I will say that the actual hidden world is very beautiful in a way that the previous movies haven't been. With giant waterfalls, giant rocks, mists, and the inside of the hidden world is... basically indescribable. But you'll know what I'm trying to say when you go and see it. The supporting characters are written with a bit more, well, character this time around. They all feel a bit more real. Except perhaps Ruffinart, but she gets a very funny scene that's centered around her, which I think fans of her will enjoy. This is ostensibly the final How to Train Your Dragon movie, and this movie even treats itself that way. With a final narration, and a Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows style epilogue set a few years after the end of the story. Though in our modern age of cinema, you never really know when a movie series is actually at an end. It probably isn't. I just went off script. How to Train Your Dragon is undeniably DreamWorks strongest film series, and The Hidden World ends it in spectacular fashion. And if you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Sayonara.